Hello viewers, it's a brother and friend of Trey Monde. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm a music minister, a recording artist, songwriter, and a performing gospel music minister. By the grace of God, God has helped me and privileged to uh, write a few songs that has been a blessing to the kingdom and the likes of Manifest, Most High, Spirit Language, and Align. Well, the inspiration came uh, with the body of prayer and intercession. So, um, one of the things that prompted me, you know, that gave me the inspiration and to write this song is the hunger for people to align into the system and what God is about to do in this dispensation. And one of it is uh, intimacy and consecration in the place of prayer and work in their work with God. Oh, by the grace of God, uh, uh, I've been writing songs and I started writing songs at, at the age of nine. I started writing songs at the age of nine. At the very tender age, I started writing. A song. It has been part of me as a young teenager in, in the choir department. Uh, I love writing songs. It has been part of me. I've been enjoying it and God has been helping me. Um, a line like um, the Holy Spirit uh, told me something concerning this song. Uh, God told me two, two things specifically for this song. And one of these is God showed me and He told me. He gave me a picture and He spoke to me audibly. And number one is that God showed me a group of young people, you know, coming out from a clubhouse. They were dropping their cigarettes. And that speaks of revival. And the second thing that God told me is that there is a glory coming back to the church. But the church is about to, you know, regain their former glory. So there is something God is about to do in this dispensation. There's something God is about to do in this season. And it can only start and it can only start with you and I. So this is a generation where uh, young people are rising in the place of prayer. There are young people rising in the place of prayer that will not take the investment in God for more than For uh, the first instant, I never expected the return of and everything. I firstly I didn't. I haven't recorded this song in the studio. I just decided by the, by the help of the Holy Spirit to just minister to the song and pass a message to the body. But uh, to my greatest surprise, I was, I, I, I didn't expect the turn up. I really thank God for what He's doing with the song. Um, one of the things that the major thing that draws you know, the attention of men concerning this song is number one, I think number one is the Holy Spirit. You know, every song there is there's always a spirit that you know accompanies every song. You know, I think number one thing is the Holy Spirit behind the sound and, and number two is the creativity is the creativity behind the song. I think these two things are the uh, most important thing. Well, uh, 
the future of this song, I, 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 it is my uh, expectation and my endless expectation to see, you know, men aligning back to, their, to the promises of God concerning their life. I, I want to see men born more for God. I want to see people coming back, coming back to Jesus. I want to see nations, you know, getting revivals. I want to see people turning back from their old ways and following the path of God through this song alive. Okay, uh, I have my Facebook page. You can always, you know, contact me through my Facebook page at Ochremond, my Instagram at Ochremond, and my Twitter at Ochremond, my TikTok at Ochremond, my YouTube also at Ochremond.